Hi friends, I'm TTB. Welcome back to MacWarrior Online News. Let's talk about the latest patch notes that were just delivered at around uh, 1 a.m. German time. And uh, we're talking about the June 2021 patch notes for MacWarrior Online. And uh, it's going to be a short patch, but there's a couple of good stuff in here. First and foremost, we have the new Polar Highlands map from Francois. We also have the second Agility Pass, and I thought there would be like a couple of new mechs in here in this Agility Pass, but no, they actually did all the mechs. They actually did the first complete Agility Pass of all the mechs in the game. I did not expect that. That is really, really nice to see. We'll jump into some more details on that later on. And then also we have a change for spawn points on Tormalin Desert. Let's look a little bit at the details. Now, Polar Highlands Reborn, guys. We have talked about that beforehand already in a different video a couple of days ago. Uh, the map has been changed. It's now much more vertical as we've always liked. There are now roads through the map that have cover. There are buildings. There are lots of different ways to actually get around the map. There's also a full pre Review if you want to have a look at that but we also covered that in a video so there's not, not necessarily to um, spend more time here on that particular topic however spawn points as i said tomlin desert has finally been addressed so assault conquest and domination game modes all three of them have their spawn points changed I think that infamous Bravo Land spawn, where you spawn and just get immediately obliterated by the enemy shooting PPCs at you while you are trying to reach the rest of your team, that should be gone now. So that's a really, really good thing. Uh, we've waited for that for a couple of months. I'm really happy it's finally here. And then last but definitely least, Agility Pass at 2. Last month they had 8 mech chassis and 48 variants, uh, this time they're doing the remaining 97 mech chassis and all the remaining variants. And here is the complete list of updates, and I'm not going to go through the whole list because that would be nuts, but let's talk real quick about a couple of highlights, especially for me. So you can just go to the list and you can filter it by mech chassis right here, and you can decide what you want to see. Uh, what we're seeing here, for example, let's say we go to the Annihilator, and uh, we will find out magic of zooming it's magic we will find out that for example the united mean baby gets a nice boost to the torso speed whereas the united 2a for example one of my all-time favorites still keeps that same tortoise like torso speed acceleration deceleration will go up a little bit the pitch angle will be a little bit better i wonder if that's going to be enough now to shoot light mechs that are standing right in front of you it's only five degrees we'll see how that goes so yeah mean baby and 1e a little bit more agility the rest uh, stays the same a little bit more acceleration and you will find that across the board uh, everything here as far as i could see was increased acceleration deceleration turn rate for most of the max torso speed uh, pitch angle for a lot of the max if they didn't have a pitch angle of 30 or 25 already and of course a yaw angle um, for example, one of my favorites is the Battlemaster back in the day, and the Battlemaster has been given a better deceleration, acceleration, of course, turn rate, but more importantly, a little bit of increase in torso speed and the yaw angle has been increased, especially for the Battlemaster 1G and 3M. These guys could really, really turn not that far with their torsos, so from 60 up to 85, that is going to be a lot better. Maybe let's have a look at another mech. Let's maybe check one of the Fafnirs. Uh, the Fafnir Raf now, interestingly, guys, it's going to have a torso speed of 85.5 degrees per second. That is really nice. That's, uh, that's an increase of 50% almost. Uh, really, really nice. And uh, all the Fafnirs also will be able to look down further now as well, up from 20 degrees to 25. Again, it doesn't seem like a huge change, but that might be that extra little bit that you need in order to be able to shoot a light max that are standing right in front of you. Uh, if that's not the case, then I will be complaining again. But uh, let's see where this all takes us. And of course, uh, maybe check the Cyclops here for a sec. And we also can see uh, your angle Cyclops increased, pitch angles, as I said before, all also increased. Everything else will stay the same. So the max where they found that uh, they, they are already performing as they think they should, they didn't change anything, but some angles will still change. Dire Wolf, last but not least, I'll Dire Whales, torso speed up by a little bit. And of course the yaw angle improved 60 to 85. That is a nice change. We can be very happy with that. Maybe have a look at the Warhawk. That would also be interesting to see what they did to the Warhawk. See, so for example, the Warhawk already had a really good yaw angle of 90. They didn't have to change anything here. However, torso speed got up a little bit and the acceleration and the deceleration, of course, has been increased. So what does this mean for all these mechs, guys? It means one thing, first and foremost, mechs will be a little bit more agile. So when you're shooting at mechs, 
once that patch hits, be aware they will accelerate faster, they will stop faster, and they will turn faster. So, you will miss a couple of shots in the beginning. Don't be discouraged by that. It's going to take some time to get used to the new speeds. There will be a little bit more agility in the game, and I hope that it will rejuvenate some of the olden skills that some of us still have, like torso twisting and mech twisting together with your legs and getting a little bit of extra speed on the turn and stuff like that. It's going to be nice, it's going to be fun, and together with the new map that we're getting with the new Polar Highlands, uh, should be a nice, exciting update. No huge new mechs or anything in here, but just good bug fixes or upgrades for existing mechs. Let's call it how it is. So I'll be excited to try these out with you. I'll see you on the battlefields of MechWarrior Online. And if you want to join me, guys, make sure to join on in on my live stream, twitch.tv slash TTB. Have a good one.